and welcome to my channel. I'm Andrea and this is Mike and today we're going to be tasting a new collaboration between Iron Fish Distillery and Shorts Brewing Company. We have zero affiliation with these companies um, other than the fact that we're both proud Michiganders and mm -hmm. and so are they but we, we like their products. Iron Fish makes a bourbon that was distilled and aged in a barrel that maple syrup aged in that had previously aged bourbon. And let me tell you, it is delicious. So we already like their products. So I have been looking forward to the Soft Parade vodka coming out. As far as we know, they are only doing one batch of it. And the back of the bottle actually says batch number one. I looked all over for this. I've been calling around and I got lucky enough that like the sixth liquor store I called um, happened to have one in stock. So I had them hold it for me and I ran there and grabbed it. I gotta grab a knife. We're gonna pop this open and give it a taste. Okay, now one of my favorite beers for the summer is the Short Soft Parade Shandy. I actually don't know that I've ever had just the Soft Parade Fruit Ale. The Shandy is absolutely delicious, um, but I figured I wanted to do like a taste comparison to the original beer um, as far as, you know, like if, it, if this actually tastes like it. So I'm gonna pop this open and pour us a bit of that. such a pretty color. Cheers. Cheers. Solid. It is. It is really fruity. I do think I like the shandy better personally, but this video isn't about that. <laughs> Can you this taste the fruits? Well, there's a hint of it. So um, short soft parade is supposed to have blueberry, strawberry, raspberry, and blackberry flavorings in it. And I mean, it is very fruity. I don't know that I can pick out specific notes. Uh, to me, it tastes like all of them combined. I thought there was a mash up there. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I don't pick up specific notes. Um, all right. So we're going to taste this warm. And then I'm going to shake a little bit over ice too, just to... Cool it down a bit. I am typically not a straight vodka drinker. Oh, it does say to shake it too, because there could be some uh, bits of the fruit in the bottom of it. So some sediment. If I'm drinking vodka, there's usually a Red Bull involved. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. It is funny how similar the colors are. Mm -hmm. I mean, maybe it's hard to tell against this backdrop. The, the vodka is a little bit more pink. It actually looks more like the shandy than the fruit ale. Grab that. Are you shooting this? <clears throat> I was gonna take a little sip and then shoot it. <clears throat> oh, smell it. Oh, it smells good. Oh, it smells amazing. And it smells like vodka. All right, yes it does. <laughs> <laughs> it's not harsh though. No, I can taste the fruit, honestly. Oh, I taste the fruit a lot more than I do in the beer. Yeah. Wow, that is really good. Okay, I am gonna shoot the rest of this. It's still vodka though. It's still vodka, <laughs> yeah. It is, it's 80 proof, so I mean, it's still, let's chase it with the ale. <laughs> we are not one to shoot alcohol like that. Good though, thus, I mean. Oh yeah, that's the very small shot. As far as vodka goes. Yeah. All right, I'm just gonna pour one shot over this ice to chill it, and we can split that. Now, Iron Fish does actually list out four distinct cocktails on their website um, to make with this vodka. So I did get the ingredients. I believe it's like eight total ingredients for the four different cocktails. So I ran to Kroger and I picked up the ingredients necessary for the four cocktails. And once we're done tasting the straight vodka, I'm gonna cut and make the cocktails for us and we will come back and taste those. So, all right, this has been chilled a bit. Oh, it's definitely better cold. Yeah, yeah. just a little bit watered down too. Yeah. Cause like we said, we are just not 
vodka shooters. Plus, this is one that I'm definitely going to savor. It's $35 a fifth, which, I mean, it's a small batch. And again, their quality is just unbelievable. The, the distillery makes really cool stuff. So I highly recommend checking them out. They are on the west side of Michigan. I've never been to the distillery itself. I've heard it's very cool, but you can get their products all over Michigan and liquor stores and possibly other states. I don't know about that. So let's cut here. I'm gonna go make the cocktails and we'll be back soon to taste them. Okay, I have made the cocktails. Um, this is the Soft Parade Basil Martini. Um, this is the Soft Parade Strawberry Collins. This is the Soft Parade Buck. And this is the Soft Parade Vodka and Soft Parade Beer cocktail. Um, yes, they have one where they mix the vodka and the beer because why not? <laughs> one tastes like the other, so. So we're gonna start with the martini. Um, this is the soft parade vodka, lemon juice, strawberry jam, and basil leaves, which I will admit I could not find fresh basil leaves at the grocery store, um, but I didn't wanna lose out on the flavor of basil, so I actually put some dried basil leaves in there, which I know, thinking about it now, I'm like, okay, maybe that wasn't the best idea, but we're gonna give it a shot. It smells delicious. I think anything made with this is going to be oh, amazing, though. Okay. Holy cow. That's good. Yeah. I like that. I will link below the recipes from Iron Fish's official website. Yeah, so far, so good. Okay, the next one is the Soft Parade Strawberry Collins. This is the Soft Parade Vodka, lemon juice, simple syrup, muddled with fresh strawberries, and then topped with soda water. It's like refreshing. It's like light, like I could drink that all day on like a hot summer day. Might be making this for the boat. Right. That's good. I could drink. That okay. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Just like top it with some slices of strawberry. That yeah. would be delicious. Yes, it would. Okay. The third one here is the soft parade buck. This is the soft parade vodka, lime juice, which I will admit I thought it was supposed to be lemon juice. <laughs> So this, ours has lemon juice in it, not lime juice. So it's supposed to be like a mule. It's gonna be a little bit different for us, but that's okay. And then simple syrup and it's topped with ginger beer. Oh. Oh, I am a mule fan. That's another one I could drink all day. And I can taste how it would be different with lime juice, but I think it might have a little bit more of a tart taste, of course, because lime is more tart than lemon, but I like it with the lemon. I like it. I like to try it with the lime. I'm not a huge uh, lemon guy. I know. It's so good, though. It is delicious. I don't, I'm going to have a hard time picking out a favorite. All right, number four here is the Soft Parade Vodka and Soft Parade Beer. Um, so it does have the vodka and a beer and simple syrup and lemon juice. Uh, yeah, that's good. That's not as like light and refreshing, but it's like, I've mixed beer and whiskey before, I think, when you really just want to go hard to begin with at a party. That's really good. I don't know that I would make that again. This is the one out of these I would prefer. Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah, cause it, probably because it has a beer flavor. Mm. I think of all of them, I think I prefer the Collins. I mean, we got chunks of strawberry in there for muddling the real strawberries, but God, they're all delicious. All right. 
I mean, I, I definitely recommend if you can find this, make these recipes. I, I really like this. I hope that Iron Fish Distilleries makes more batches of this. Um, I'm definitely going to be picking up another bottle uh, next week or this week actually. Um, at a local liquor store. I have been calling all of them to find out what days they deliver <laughs> or get their deliveries. So get your hands on some of this. If you can't get your hands on this, at least try out Shorts Soft Parade Fruit Ale. I also recommend the Soft Parade Shandy. That's my favorite. Thank you so much for watching this. If you like this, please hit that um, thumbs up down there. It really does help out um, getting the videos out there for people to see. And um, cheers. I'll take this one. Oh, it wasn't recording. <laughs> You're kidding, right? I'm kidding.